Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Keith here from Commander Hoop Celtic. This is your first time coming across the channel. If you could press the subscribe button below, even a thumbs up or a comment below will be really appreciated. For anyone that doesn't have this jumper, I bought it the other day, I've been living in it. Absolutely snug as a book. But I'm here to talk about a couple of things today. I'm going to talk about Yusuke Itaguchi, Deza Meida, and how many players do we need in the door to feel satisfied at the end. January the transfer went to say well you know what this is good enough we have a good enough squad here to compete even with a couple of injuries or COVID cases we should be all right so let's kick it off last night days and made it deal done was was the video I put up Sky Sports reported on today the deal is done Celtic haven't confirmed it just yet more likely they will confirm it tomorrow or on New Year's Day low mill for six months and then option to buy him from Yokohama, Marios. Option to buy him for 1.8 million. I think this is a good decision because what if he comes over and doesn't hit the ground running like Kyogo? Hits with injury, poor form, doesn't adapt to Ange's system, even though he worked on the Ange at Yokohama. You never know what happens in football. So if he hits the ground running and within six weeks, I'm sure we'll all be boasting about him. We'll be looking at getting this guy bought. Before the end, before bought before the end of the season, it's one point eight million. He's twenty four years of age, twenty six goals last season. Apologies, twenty four goals last season, four assists, three caps for Japan, five for eight powerhouse and golden samurai boot winner as well. Who could be joining him? There's reports in Japan as well that Gambia Osaka, the team in the J League are looking to replace the defensive midfielder, which is Yasuki Itaguchi. 25-year-old box-to-box midfielder. He played 41 times last season. Only one goal. If you look at this picture here, you can see the amount of touches he takes. And it's mostly defensive midfield. So this is what we need. You know, Beaton obviously got a goal the other day. If we, can get, we get someone in him like him, stuck in. Maybe a, like a Ki Sung Young, even though Ki Sung Young was obviously South Korean, or Kyal, that doesn't take shit in the midfield and gives Callum that free role. I think it's competition for Beaton because Soro, you can't depend on him. James McCarthy, I don't know what's going on with his fitness, to be honest with you. So we do need another defensive midfielder. And I can see Young Shaw being loaned out as well. And Urigiri would probably be loaned out as well. So there'll be a couple, a couple of loans in this window, no question about it. Players that we need in, we need to get Jota in the permanent. No question about it. Jota has to be bought in the permanent. I'm missing him terrible because of the injury. Hopefully we'll have him back for the break with Julian, with Forrest, with Jack and Marcus, with Hart. You know, we hope we have him back with Cuyogo as well. We look like a new team when we get all these boys back. And Carter Vickers, buy him in the permanent. The talks are 3 million and then add-ons that could rise up to six million for the total fee. He's settled in. He's gonna spark a new life when he, he he plays alongside Julian. And we'll be solid at the back. You know, Starfield has had a couple of mistakes. Welch has a couple of mistakes. Defenders have mistakes. And unfortunately, we we love a club that we can't there's not room for error because the title race is so crucial for the Champions League spot. We can't um give away stupid mistakes. So Starfield will come good. I think he's I think he's gone a lot of criticism. You know, people were praising him literally three weeks ago. And then the slating him after Cup Final, slating him after Ross County, then slating him the other day. Just give him a bit of time to settle in, as I would say. You know, it, it's a difficult it's a difficult time for footballers, you know. They're not robots, you know, they do they do feel emotions, they do have social media, they do get pelters, so let let them set, settle in. I think it's I think it's absolutely ridiculous people taking the piss out of Barkas, saying I was a lawyer when Barkas caught, caught the ball and all this. Like, okay, he needs a bit of time. I don't think he's going to be a number one. I think a long move might do him well to his confidence. Depends how Ben gets on towards the end of the season. Joe Hart is going to be a number one, obviously. But, made it. I don't know why people are getting annoyed about it last night. People are saying lack of ambition. Let him come over. He's, he knows the manager. He knows Koyogo from the national team. Let him get used to the system. Let's see what he can offer us. If he's not our cup of tea by the end of the season, we can send him back to Yokohama and say, well, you know what? At least, at least we tried with it. 
You know, I still believe that we still need two strikers in the window. Still believe it. I think we need two strikers. We need an attacking midfielder if it's going to be Hate that you can play on the left or attacking midfield. We still believe, and still think we need another centre back, even with Carter Vickers if he signed or not. And I still feel that we need another right back as well. Even though we have Jovanovic and Rolson, one of them goes down, there's a lot of dependency on them to cover it. Udegidi, I don't think you'd be able to cut cut the mustard, even though he played well in the um, Europa League game against Betis, I still believe that he wouldn't be the answer as a second choice when the lads gets injured. So, a right back, attacking mid, two strikers, and get that defensive midfielder in as well. If it's Idiguchi, and I'd be laughing, I'd be happy with that transfer window. If you can get Carter Vickers and Jota as well signed. It's, it's a lot to ask for, but you got to aim high and see what happens. And if you we get them... We get at least four names in. If it's Carter Vickers, Jota, Idiguchi, and Maida, we have a good chance of going on to win the league. If there's, we, we Preferably, we do need more players, though, no question about it. But we have to see who goes out as well. Get rid of the Deadwood before we start bringing in re recruits as well. There's plenty of Deadwoods that we could get rid of. And there's players on loan that we should clear out as well. So let me know what you think. Um, once we have an update, I'll be back. I'll be pinging up. And I want you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Whoever has recently, a massive thank you. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the comments. I really appreciate it. And um, feedback's crucial. I know I get a lot of negative feedback as well. But you know what? That's a title, title to opinion. So um, speak to us all soon. Take care. Hell, hell. Up the Celts.